Hello, light workers. I'm Matt Khan, and I'm here with you. We are here with each other. We are assembling, whether we realize it or not. In the unity, our world continues to know. And at this moment, the unity our world needs. I come to you in this moment as someone whose family members live in Israel. I have friends whose children are studying abroad in that country. as we wait to hear if they're able to safely return home. And of course, on a cosmic level, because I acknowledge and I, can, and I feel, just like a lot of us can, that every person walking this earth is a member, an extended member of our cosmic family. That means members of our cosmic family are hurt, are in danger. Taking hurt that spans the time of history out on other people. whether as a demonstration of unconscious power, greed, or as storylines of political positioning. I'm here in this lifetime, perhaps like you, on a humanitarian mission. And it's moments like these as empaths, where it's as if we're like firework, firemen <laughs> or firewomen, firefighters, where we're hanging out the station, we're cooking our meals, we're raising our families, then the siren goes off and we're called into immediate action. And since everything began a few days ago, I always feel the tension and turmoil and destruction of conflict as if it's happening inside my body. And a lot of my sense of personality or sense of separation or individuation, even though I experience that like a beautiful costume, disappears and I go into a state of stillness and oneness where this body is being used as an intermediary between source and the world at conflict in need of light. And I've been in this space since everything began. And it feels like, perhaps like you, feels like we're working round the clock as light workers. And so I wanted to do this transmission to offer you support to create an opportunity where we can connect and be together. And we can also come together and through the beauty and love of divine guidance, we can take some constructive steps to help transmute the destruction and help move this world in a direction of greater unity consciousness. And that occurs in the name of peace. 
And so I meet you in the name of peace. A peace that is the oneness and balance that individuals or our world experiences when they are reintroduced to the will of divinity, absent in their perspectives, intentions, or actions. And the complexity and difficulty of war is that on both sides, you have a position of what some would say, this is right and that is wrong. But from a karmic perspective, in conflict and war, the innocence is what absorbs the damage. And there's nothing right about the harm of innocent people. But in the name of peace, we come together to bring the innocence of all so clearly to the forefront of collective and individual awareness that the power of our unity over time can turn destruction into the dissolving of conflict. In the name of peace and by the way of love, I meet you in this transmission so that we can remember the light always flowing through us. And before I share with you a process that I think is most needed right now in the world, so that we as light workers can take the steps to know that we are being helpful in a situation that many feel helpless in. Before we go into that process of learning how to direct our light for the greater good of all. It's important to remember that we are serving the light, not only to bring about more unity to the planet, we're serving the light so that the world can operate collectively through the power of intention over agenda. We are anchoring the light so that those who are watching what is occurring to innocent people don't get so dysregulated in their nervous system that you become polarized. Polarization is when you begin to shut down in the presence of conflict and turmoil. And as you shut down, you subconsciously or unconsciously feel as if the only way to cope with what you can't control and view is by choosing a side. And whenever you choose a side through polarization, you are in some way siding with who you think is right against who you think is wrong and numbing yourself from seeing how both sides are being harmed. There are innocent people in both countries and all countries that are harmed. And in the name of peace, the peace I wish to bring to the world right now is to repair that harm and to diminish the tendency for any being to be harmed again. And most importantly, to pattern interrupt any agenda that is using conflict <clears throat> or the tendency to embroil the world in conflict and separation and polarization 
as a way of furthering any type of agenda, religious, political, or otherwise. For we have come to a point in history where we as the people of this planet will not be manipulated into being polarized. And somehow not seeing how the innocence the divine feminine and divine masculine being suppressed through karmic patterns. And when you are an empathic being, and even though if you live in a country far away from where this destruction is occurring, but you can feel it as if it is both in the distant horizon happening somewhere else, but also existing within your body because your light is not separate from the light of those on the front lines or in the battlefields or in the war zones. Then it's no longer those people over there. It's us. It's one. And it's the decision that we are invited to make, that I'm simply here inviting you. I'm never here to tell you what to do. I'm simply sharing what I have been doing all weekend with the universe. And if you're inspired, I'm inviting you to join. But this is an invitation to rise above the tendency to be polarized by the dissonance in view. and to not get pulled into the polarization of debating sides. When any two people that are debating two opposing views are two spaces where the divine isn't moving through for the betterment of the world. And the healing work I wanna help walk us through right now is not just for the Israel-Palestinian conflict. It includes conflict in Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, any place in this world or universe where there is the replaying of karmic patterns to keep places or people separate versus united. And you must know that for those in this world that treat it like a game where lives are expendable and where the reality of divinity is a fairy tale to them. It's only a matter of what needs to happen to make the sensitive emotional people polarized and shut down so that, the, so that those who are unconsciously and unconscionably benefiting from separation, duality, and attempting to cause so much destruction that they slow down the countdown clock of ascension. Because the world is already in the ascension. And there, there is an understanding on both sides that slowing down or speeding up the final minutes of ascension is a tool that can be used. When the clock of ascension is sped up, the planet no longer tolerates separation, division, polarization, karmically inducing patterns, or the ability to manipulate people and separate people by beliefs, ideologies, religion, gender, or any difference, or to unite people in some similarity against another opposing group. That's the beauty of unity when we speed up that countdown clock. But if the world can be paralyzed in fear and shut down in polarization, where people hide in their minds having these, what they think are rational debates on this side against that side, 
whether religious or political theater. And there's an attempt to slow down that countdown so that those who can only live in separation and dissonance and hostility and who feed off of that fear can somehow stay where they're at for just one more moment in time. And so the work I want to help us do, that I was being called to do, is to help clear the karmic patterns so that we can respond with unity instead of react from a place of fear and polarization. Because when we react from a place of fear and polarization, on a subconscious level, we are consenting to the perpetuation of conflict. So if you wish to vote and say no to separation and no to, to violence and no to atrocity, then we have to enact a process that allows us to transmute fear, to transmute polarization, and to be the unity that those in conflict, whether doing the attacking or being attacked, are unaware of. And that doesn't make it anyone's fault. It's simply our role. If there are those being attacked or attacking, and you can see it from either side, in that location, an awareness of a higher perspective is not being seen by those hurting others. And so it can be our opportunity to bring the balance, to balance the scales of universal justice by bringing the oneness and unity. That isn't being seen by the face of conflict. And I'm channeling these words as we prepare to now move into the process so you can feel the vibration, the vibration of light that comes in the name of peace. And I'm going to walk you through a three-step process, a karma clearing process, a process I was going to introduce on the tour that I'm about to go on. I'm still going to do that, of course, but I can't wait for that time. The world needs it now and we need it now. And so here we are. United as one. And I'm going to teach you the karma clearing process the universe teaches me, has taught me, and, and walks me through during moments of conflict in the world. So whenever there is any kind of global conflict, this is what I do with the universe. I'm going to, I'm going to have you do it with me. I invite you to do it with me and see how it feels. Now I want to share with you the three-step process, then we'll do it together. The first, and this will be a repeat after me, even the first sentence I'll do, you'll notice me say, I always say everything with may I. And a lot of you who did Angel Academy know may I is how you use the divine feminine to connect to source. So we can bring the love and the humility and the healing power of the divine mother. To not only heal the unconscious masculine karmic patterning, but to also heal the wounds of the feminine and masculine in each and every heart. And so we start out first one with may I. May I allow all karmic patterns, and I'll do a few fill in the blanks, we'll do a few rounds of this. May I allow all karmic patterns to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. The reason the first sentence the universe gave me was faced and felt completely is because to clear something without saying I will face and feel it as it leaves creates a bypass mechanism. And it doesn't mean that you have to be stuck <clears throat> feeling it forever. In fact, you can feel it and, and by allowing yourself to face and feel it completely, you're actually through the law of polarity giving it access and permission to leave. And so when you allow yourself to face and feel it completely, you actually feel it for a shorter amount of time because you're just facing and feeling what is leaving, not creating an identification out of it. And what's interesting through the law of polarity is that the more 
you refuse to feel it or try to bypass or go beyond it. You actually spend more time feeling it as a sense of identification and feeling it less as a form of processing and releasing it energetically. So when I have you say it, I don't want you to think you're going to be stuck feeling this all day. You're actually allowing yourself to move energy into clear patterns in accordance with the light in the name of peace. So the first sentence will be, may I allow the karmic patterns of blank to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. The second sentence will be, may I allow the karmic patterns of blank to be faced completely and let go now. The third is may I allow the karmic patterns of blank to be forgiven completely and let go now. Now it's important to remember when you're saying forgiven completely, you're literally taking the karmic patterns of the world and you're handing it over to the law of karma. You're not saying it's okay that this happened. You're not saying we forget this happened. You're saying I no longer decide that this is a problem that needs to be solved by human vengeance. And instead I'm handing it over to be transformed by divine intervention. A lot of us as spiritual beings are wanting to serve the light, but we have this unconscious belief that if we're not loving all the time, then the light isn't shining or that the divine isn't present unless we're doing all of these steps. And the truth is the divine was ever present before the world was created, before these avatar bodies were imagined. And you were always one with that divine source. So sometimes in our egos, we can believe if I'm not doing something round the clock, the divine isn't present. The truth is by you moving in the direction of joining with many light workers to do this evolutionary work, you're saying, I know the divine is always present. I know the divine is always working what seems behind the scenes to move the world in a more positive direction. And I allow the evolutionary progress to dawn in my reality, to be made aware by my senses so I can experience the timeline where that progress is occurring most obviously. And the way I do it is by combating fear and polarization by allowing the karmic patterns of whatever I see active to be handed over to the laws of karma. And for me to know the laws of karma are going to take every circumstance and situation and any character involved and take them through a journey where they will never have the ability to harm again. But you have to allow the laws of karma to do this. Otherwise, you're relying on human vengeance to impersonate divine intervention. And that's something that we call the pattern of religious history. And we are here transforming the planet out of the patterns of religious history or political theater. And we're coming back to the laws of universal will. So let's try this together. Like a repeat after me. And I just want you to feel what happens in your body. So we'll do a three step repeat after me. I allow or may the karmic patterns of conflict in the world be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the karmic patterns of the world be faced and felt completely and let go. May the karmic patterns of the world be forgiven completely and let go now.
I know in the beginning I said, may I allow, and you can say, may I allow the karmic patterns or may all karmic patterns. I know it came out differently than how I explained it. I'm just trying to channel the wisdom of the universe while holding the world during this time of atrocity. So I'm doing a few things at once. So you can say, may I allow the karmic patterns of the world or may all karmic patterns. Whatever allows you to feel like you are participating as a helper to help transmute the helplessness in view. So let's do another one. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Israel and Palestine be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Israel and Palestine be faced and felt completely and let go. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Israel and Palestine be forgiven completely and let go now. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Russia, Ukraine, Taiwan, and China and all countries be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Russia, Ukraine, Taiwan, China, and all countries be faced and felt completely and let go. May all karmic patterns creating conflict in Russia, Ukraine, Taiwan, China, and all countries be forgiven completely and let go now. And now we're going to heal the drama triangle that creates the conflict in individuals and in countries, individually and collectively. May all archetypes of the victim, bully, and rescuer be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all archetypes of the victim, bully, and rescuer be faced and felt completely and let go. May all archetypes of the victim, bully, and rescuer. Be forgiven completely and let go now. Just feel in your body what's happening as we're doing this work. We are the first space where this divine intervention is flowing through. And what you're feeling is you are first feeling the light that will then expand out to all points in the world. It needs to go. What, what, what we just did in the repeat after me was healing all archetypes of the drama triangle. A triangle has three points. 
and the drama triangle is made up of the victim archetype, the bully archetype, and the rescue archetype. And in order for a drama triangle or unconsciousness to exist, the ego has to move between victim, bully, and rescuer. Every bully is a victim who has yet to be healed. And sometimes a victim can be so shut down in its unprocessed pain that it tries to avoid the anticipation of future victimhood by dominating others, so not to be dominated by others. And the victim, the innocence of a victim, then becomes a bully to another innocent being. And then, of course, when there's the play of the bully and the victim, there's the rescuer that comes in. And sometimes in the theater of the world, what is framed as being the rescuer is actually a bully to other victims. And even in our own karmic journeys of healing, sometimes we feel like a victim to the experiences of our past. The unprocessed pain causes us to act out either as a bully to those that remind us of our pain or to try to rescue too quickly those that match the pain that we carry. Or sometimes spiritually we're trying to do too much inner work too quickly and we wind up bullying ourselves. And so when we see a war scenario, it's very, in a magnified way, it's easy to start to see the patterns of bully, victim, and rescuer in war. There are nothing but victims. And in order for the bully to pull off unconscionable bully behavior, they have to believe that they are both the victim or the rescuer. And so we do the healing of all three aspects of the drama triangle. So not to remold the karmic patterns, but to clear them. Because the way you get polarized in this world is by either being victimized, turned into a bully, or feeling helpless in your desire to rescue but inability to rescue. In a storyline where cruelty is justified, in the name of peace, we are doing this work right now because cruelty cannot be justified on any level. And cruelty is only occurring in the conflict of war because the scales of reality are imbalanced. There are so many people with very little on this planet, and there's a small group of people that have a lot. And we have to balance out the disparity so that we can come together in heart coherence, come together in cooperation, instead of being pulled apart by either conflict or competition. And so this is the work we're doing right now. So let's try this together in the name of furthering peace in the world. May all of my archetypes of bully, victim, and rescuer be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all of my archetypes as the bully, victim, and rescuer be faced and felt completely and let go. May all of my archetypes as the bully, victim, and rescuer be forgiven completely and let go now. Let's try this one. May the history and patterning of all victims, bullies, and rescuers be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the history and patterning of all victims, bullies, and rescuers be faced and felt completely and let go.
may the history and patterning of all bullies, victims, and rescuers be forgiven completely and let go now. May all religious righteousness and political agenda be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all religious righteousness and political agenda be faced and felt completely and let go. May all religious righteousness and political agenda be forgiven completely and let go now. May all patterns of fear and polarization, separation and duality be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all patterns of fear, polarization, separation and duality be faced and felt completely and let go. May all patterns of fear, polarization, separation and duality be forgiven completely and let go now. May all aspects of shadow, unconsciousness, and ego behavior be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all aspects of shadow, unconsciousness, and ego behavior be faced and felt completely and let go. May all aspects of shadow, unconsciousness, and ego behavior be forgiven completely and let go now. May all wars, atrocities, and violence be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all wars, atrocities, and violence be faced and felt completely and let go. May all wars, atrocities, and violence be forgiven completely and let go now. Feel what happens as we do this. You can feel how deep the work goes. And you are your body is the first space where you're feeling all the cord cutting happening in the world. It happens in you first, and then it spreads out into the world over a period of time. So as we're integrating, before I do a few more of these with you, I want to share some things that will help you. We have to know that the work we're doing first happens instantaneously in our body. Our body is a smaller microcosmic model of the entire world and an even smaller microcosmic body of the entire universe. So your body, your avatar body in this dream of life is the first space where you're experiencing what we are doing together and what all of your prayers and blessings are doing for the world and planet. And you are the first cosmic body where that change shows up. It then will take what will look like a period of time to spread out. And when we're trying to do this work with any type of unconscious attachment, you will do the work that we're doing. You will feel very powerful. And then you can turn on the news and see even worse things happened. And then you get frustrated. 
and then you feel like a victim to your own goodwill. There's the victim archetype inside of the drama triangle. Then you pray for vengeance and dark things to happen to the darker beings doing things. And now you're in the bully archetype. Or you feel so polarized and so dysregulating your nervous system. You're praying for the divine to be your rescuer. And so it's very easy to do this work with an attachment to outcome and still move through the drama triangle on the inside, even move through the drama triangle in your relationship with divinity. And so we have to do this in the name of peace, which says my body is the first place that change shows up. The change is going to occur over time. And no matter what happens in the world after we do this work or while we do this work, we have to know it could always be a worse timeline if we didn't step forward to do this. We are moving with the energy. We're not colliding with the energy. We are working to redirect the momentum of this energy. We're not trying to stop what is unfolding. We are directing it with intention, consciousness, and humility. We are taking the energy of destruction and we are moving with it to remold it as the passion of evolutionary progress, an energy that instead of destroying becomes the energy of bringing the world together to rebuild. The passion of constructive energy that is built out of the redirection of destructive tendencies. And we're working with the dimension of time, no longer believing we're running out of time or bumping up against the hands of time. And so you in your body, your body as a microcosmic model of the world you live in and the universe around you, you are the first space where this energy and this change and this cord cutting and karma clearing occurs. And it doesn't mean that you have to feel one way all the time. That if you feel despair or you feel shut down, it doesn't mean that you're going backwards. It means you're just feeling the energy of those in the world that your light is serving and supporting. So this is where we go into such a high level awareness of what it means to be a light worker that we can serve the light without identifying with all that's being transmuted within us for the benefit of the world. So let's try some more. I allow all karmic patterns and energetic cords to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. I allow all energetic cords and karmic patterns to be faced and felt completely and let go. I allow all energetic cords and karmic patterns to be forgiven completely and let go now. Let's try this one. I allow all third dimensional and fourth dimensional timelines and lower vibrational energies to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. I allow all third dimensional and fourth dimensional timelines and lower vibrational energies to be faced and felt completely and let go. 
I allow all third dimensional and fourth dimensional timelines and lower vibrational energies to be forgiven completely and let go now. I allow all greed and disparity to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. I allow all greed and disparity to be faced and felt completely and let go. I allow all greed and disparity to be forgiven completely and let go now. I allow all war, destruction, and marginalization and suppression to be faced and felt completely as it leaves. I allow all war, destruction, marginalization, and suppression to be faced and felt completely and let go. I allow all war, destruction, marginalization, and suppression to be forgiven completely and let go now. And this will be a big one for a lot of us spiritual beings. I allow, or may, <laughs> words are funny, may. The karmic patterns of Lemuria and Atlantis. be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the karmic patterns of Lemuria and Atlantis be faced and felt completely and let go. May the karmic patterns of Lemuria and Atlantis Be forgiven completely and let go now. And the reason that's important to do is because the downfall of Atlantis was too much masculine and not enough feminine, and Lemuria was feminine without the masculine. Both stories talk about the fall of a civilization when one aspect of polarity imbalances the other. Both sides need the other to create harmony, which is why in the awakening of consciousness, when consciousness awakens, it's the balancing of the left and right hemisphere of your brain as consciousness awakens. As the I am presence awakens in the midpoint between the left and right hemisphere of the brain, Corpus callosum, activating the deeper vision of the third eye, opening up the doorway to the heavens of the crown chakra, and opening up all the energy centers that allow you to be a living midpoint between the earth and the heavens. The ascension is not about the feminine getting vengeance on the masculine. And this is not about maintaining unconscious masculine domination over the feminine. And this is not about the feminine trying to be powerful by impersonating the masculine. This is about the masculine and feminine, feminine coming back into equal power and surrendering to the power of itself in the other. 
where another name for I am is you. And the greatest power the I am will know on this planet is through the union of we, where the second coming of Christhood is the remembrance and coming together and activation of conscious community, uniting our world as one. For in this unity, no one's greed or agenda can turn us against our family members. And the only way you can be turned against another person is to think of them as a stranger instead of a distant, unknown relative. And when we start to treat each other as members of our extended cosmic family, no one's greed or agenda turns us against one another so that we justify the cruelty and conflict that suppresses the innocence and keeps our world divided. We are in the process of bringing that to an end and the process you have experienced in this transmission. And you can refer to this video on YouTube as often as you want. When you feel like you can't take enough or you feel like you're just dysregulated or you need to reconnect with your northern star, this video and other ones are here to serve you and to serve in the name of peace. So just as we've done this much, if you can write in the comments section a word or two on how you are feeling in this process, how have you felt participating in this process and how have you felt receiving this? Jamie says that last release gave me chills watching from Mexico. See if comments come through. Ronit says, can you say something about Israel? Yes, this is all for Israel. This is all for the innocence of Israel. This is all for the innocence equally in Palestine and all countries and continents. We stand with the innocence. We stand as the light. We stand in the name of peace. And in the name of peace, we see a world where there is conflict in a world, just like where there is a neighborhood of violence, there is a world begging or a neighborhood begging for greater resources and opportunity where the inner artists have been turned into warriors to battle with neighbors they don't know as members of their extended family. So in the name of peace, we are bringing the emotional relief, the energetic resolve, the divine intervention to, to balance the scales of justice so that we can actually come together in unity instead of be manipulated into the embroilment of conflict. We stand in support of Israel. We stand in support of the world. We stand in support of the light. Absolutely. Unity in all beings. Thank you for leading, Matt. I can feel so much calmer releasing really expansion connection. So it is. Let's do a let's do a few more. How about we do a few more? I allow all patterns of may I allow, may all patterns of crucifixion. be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all patterns of crucifixion be faced and felt completely and let go. May all patterns of crucifixion be forgiven completely and let go now. May all patterns of persecuting the light be faced and felt completely as it leaves. 
may all patterns of persecuting the light. Be faced and fill completely and let go. May all patterns of persecuting the light be forgiven completely and let go now. May the history of wars on other planets be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the history of wars on other planets be faced and felt completely and let go. May the history of wars on other planets be forgiven completely and let go now. May the veil of duality be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the veil of duality be faced and felt completely and let go. May the veil of duality be forgiven completely and let go now. May all traumas and grief from trauma be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all traumas and grief from trauma be faced and felt completely and let go. May all traumas and grief from trauma be forgiven completely and let go now. May all unconscious empires throughout history be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all unconscious empires throughout history be faced and felt completely and let go. May all unconscious empires throughout history be forgiven completely and let go now. May all patterns of darkness be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all patterns of darkness be faced and felt completely and let go. May all patterns of darkness be forgiven completely and let go now. Now let's try this one. May all dark beings and the violence and fear they feed from be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all dark beings and the violence and fear they feed from be faced and fell completely and let go. May all dark beings and the violence and fear they feed from be forgiven completely and let go now.
May the old paradigm and all outdated timelines be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May the old paradigm and all outdated timelines be faced and felt completely and let go. May the old paradigm and all outdated timelines be forgiven completely and let go now. And then, of course, to wrap things up, let's try this together. May all patterns of disempowerment and conflicts with time be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all patterns of disempowerment and conflicts with time be faced and felt completely and let go. May all patterns of disempowerment and conflicts with time be forgiven completely and let go now. May all ignorance be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all ignorance be faced and felt completely and let go. May all ignorance be forgiven completely and let go now. May all hurt, anger, and heartache be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all hurt, anger, and heartache be faced and felt completely and let go. May all hurt, anger, and heartache be forgiven completely and let go now. May all sadness and depression be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all sadness and depression be faced and felt completely and let go. May all sadness and depression be faced and felt complete, be forgiven completely and let go now. Easy to get tranced out. May all withdrawing, lashing out, and shutting down. be faced and felt completely as it leaves. May all withdrawing, lashing out and shutting down be faced and felt completely and let go. May all withdrawing, lashing out and shutting down be forgiven completely and let go now. And then to bring this all together, let's say together, in the name of peace. May all sentient beings remember the light, return to the light. Be reborn as light, fulfilling the prophecy of ascension, bringing the new earth into full awareness, bringing the feminine and masculine into balanced power.
and manifesting heaven on earth. For the salvation of all sentient beings. May it be so. It is done now. That I am now. And so it is. I am the light, the light I am. In the name of peace, I thank you for coming together so that we could amplify this power to the world. Please refer back to this video as often as the comfort it provides you is necessary and meaningful in your life. Please repost this video for any and everyone you know who could benefit from transforming their helplessness into opportunities of helpfulness. And the, th the message I want to leave us all with is remembering something. No matter how devastating it is to watch the world harm the world. The people who are causing the most amount of harm have yet to realize how much greater power there is in helping versus hurting. There are people in this world who are too busy hurting and carrying out the orders of harm to know that there are light beings who have never met them, who have never known their parents, have never known their family, and love them as brothers and sisters in our one cosmic tribe. There are beings on this planet that have never been exposed to this type of love, who don't know this type of mercy, and have never stopped to see themselves in the light of truth. There are beings on this planet that have lived in such levels of disadvantage that being given opportunities and a place to belong and some amount of resources allows them to be the foot soldiers for any kind of violent agenda. We hand the hearts of these beings over to the laws of karma. And we say, may you be redeemed in the, into the light to remember who you are, to remember who we are. For we are the light awakening the radiance in every being for there is no darkened corner in this world and universe where the light is not present and currently awakening. May we exchange the word enemy for a member of our family who's lost. May we remember that equally the victim and the bully both have mothers and may we remember the mother of every victim and bully so that this all gets untangled by the light of truth by the way of love in the name of peace not a way of love not a, in the name of peace that you have to try to hold together on your own you're simply moving the energy and handing it to the law of karma and anchoring the light that makes this all right for everyone. Just because we are seeing the releasing of old energy right now, and it can seem darker before the light dawns, does not mean love isn't winning or hasn't already won. We anchor the light, 
we come together in community, we support one another. As the light by the way of love in the name of peace. Thank you for shining your light and for the work we will continue to do together, together as one. I am at Khan loving you infinitely, adoring this planet, and thanking you for being a part of this mission of service, the ascension of our beautiful planet, our world, our elders, and future incarnating souls. Thank you. I love you. Namaste. Hand in hand, heart to heart, we're all for.